What's up, y'all? Michael here, Shot City Yacker. Today, no fishing for me. Weather took a turn. It's cold and rainy, which is, to me, the worst combination of fishing. I mean, I could go fishing, but the truth is, next weekend, I'm going out to the Keys. So, I'm in my garage, which is a mess. I'm packing rods up. I'm sending all my inshore stuff out there, uh, all my boat stuff out there. And I'm actually sending a new cooler I just got. Uh, the new version 2 angle um, live bait dry box cooler. So what I decided I want to do, uh, because I tried to actually research this online, I couldn't find nothing, but let me make this quick video to show you how to easily, the most easiest way to mount rod holders to the sides of your angle cooler. So let's get started with that now. All right, there's my new cooler. It's a 30 quart. Wanted to get the bigger size so I could put the uh, bigger uh, live bait in there, pilchards. Um, a bunch of shrimp just have a lot of room in there so got the bigger size why not and here on the side is where we're going to mount the two rod holders so let's get started on how to do that now so here's the rod holders that uh, you get from angle there's no instructions on any of it other than a quick little look at that focus quick little picture shows you you know kind of more or less what you need to do and it looks easy enough of course but there is one thing you do need to be aware about a mistake that i made and hopefully this video will spare you from having to go through and do some extra extra steps and risk uh burning the threads through the plastic on here so all right so for the tools you'll need a drill screwdriver i know this is old but it gets the job done don't judge me and one other important thing you are going to need, I highly suggest to make your life easier, is going to be a little drill bit. This is a 1 16th size drill bit, very small. This is going to be basically a pop a pilot hole in here. Otherwise, if you got this uh, self-tapping screw, trying to go into the plastic to start it, if you, you're you going to sit there all day, it's going to fly all over the place. It's going to be a pain in the ass. So do yourself a favor, grab yourself a little 1 16th size drill bit start your pilot with that so at this point you can pretty much line up your base plate anywhere you want on here obviously but uh right about here works and we're gonna pop the pilot holes all four of them into here first okay so we got the first one done very important here when you're punching these pilots in there it's a very thin layer of plastic and it's the first layer. You do not want to punch through and go all the way through the inner layer, which then you're basically going to have a hole that the water, or if you use it as a cooler, the air uh, will uh, go in and out of. So only punch very, it's a very thin layer of plastic, this first outer shell. Go through it very carefully so you don't, don't punch all the way through. It doesn't take much uh, pressure. Go slow, just a nice slow steady, you know, you'll feel it pop. That's the first layer and you're good. Now what I'll do from here is I'm gonna go ahead and take the same base plate. I'm just gonna move it over here to punch the holes for the second rod holder and the top of it. Little self-tapping screws. Now that we've got the pilot holes, it'll be much easier to get them through here. Again, with these, you do not want to over drill them. What I kind of do is just go really slow, get it in there. And if I need to use the uh, uh, screwdriver to finish it, I will. Otherwise, be very careful because these will burn through the threads and the plastic and won't hold. So now that we punched pilot holes into the top two base plates, we're gonna get started. Now, here's one very important thing you need to remember here, because I screwed this up when I did the other two on the other side. Don't start putting in these self tapper screws once you punch these pilot holes until you've put the backing nut inside of here. It's gonna go in there, it's gonna sit right inside of there, and then you'll put the self tapper screws in there. Don't forget them, because I did and had to go back and unscrew them all, and uh, I actually wore some of the uh, threading on uh, the plastic on the other side. It's still all holding just fine, but you just don't want to do that. So let's get the back. Now that you have the nut inside of the base, now you can start uh, putting in these screws. Once it's in there, you can kind of feel it's snug. It's not going anywhere. It's good. Okay, now that we've got the first two top base plates mounted in there with the backing nuts inside of it, we're getting ready to line up the rest of it. And this can be a little bit tricky, so here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and open up the other uh, rod holder, get the base plate from that package. The base plate and the rod holder itself, they have grooves, so it fits in there flush. Once you line it up perfectly, 
it 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 sits it sits in this groove, so you can see it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it, the rod holder in the top groove, nice and flush. We're gonna kind of see where it lays. Okay, take two. We're gonna see where it lays. We're gonna slide the bottom base plate underneath it and line it up, and you'll kind of feel it click in. Right there, it is right there. Now. I know exactly where where to place the bottom plate and that it's in alignment with the top one. Now this is where it can get a little tricky because you you can't really drill the pilot holes when you got the rod holder here. So you're gonna have to pull, we're gonna pull the rod holder off, use our hand to keep the bottom base in place as much as humanly possible. The truth is, I tried it the first two on the other side because you're out plastic on this plastic. It's a very slick you might move it a little bit but the good thing is is once you put the final the uh, big bolts in here to connect the rod holder to the base plate you cinch it down and it'll stay in place and uh a weight of a rod is not strong enough to pull any of this apart so you'll be fine you'll be good to go but you know if you you're if you're ocd like me and you want to have it perfectly lined up this is what we're going to do we're going to hold it in place really good take the rod holder out of the way Get the drill bit and punch these pilots real quick. That's the bottom one. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the right side. There we go. Now we have perfectly aligned rod holders and uh, you'll be good to go. So for the rest of this, it's gonna be, gonna be a repeat of the first two. I'm not gonna show you, so let's skip ahead to the good part. Now, one thing I do wanna point out, since this is the live bait, uh, cooler from angle originally it came with the little mounting bracket right over here for the uh, aerator so you just undrill them and I actually mounted it here on the back if you see it right there so it's tucked up out of the way you can hang the aerator right there run the tube up into the top part again this is the new version too so they they move the the tubing hole to the top is no longer on the side. So I uh, moved it over here. And then the same thing like we did over with the base plates, just unscrew them from where they originally were and punch a little pilot hole and shoot these, these uh, self tapper screws right back in there and it's in there solid. Then as far as the original holes where the little mounting bracket was, you can just put a little, uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is putting just a little uh, marine goop on there, silicone just to seal up the hole. And there's the finished product y'all. Got four rod tubes, two on each side, which is plenty to plenty of rods to have when you're inshore fishing. And that's where the uh, pump's gonna sit right there. Big advantage for this is that you got four rods, four rod holders. And when they sell this, they only sell either the live bait version or the dry cooler with rod holders with it so you have to buy these rod holders from them as an accessory and put it all together but for me this is a great this is going to be such a clutch inshore setup for tackle live bait everything i'm going to need to be all in here it's getting cold out here so let me make this quick hopefully you found this video useful and especially avoiding some of those uh mistakes you can make when you're installing the uh, rod tubes if you Found it useful, throw it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Feel free to subscribe for more videos, tutorials, tips, and of course, some pretty cool kayak fishing videos. I'm Michael, Shy City Yacker, and I'm out. Peace.